Marshal, are you okay? What's with the attitude? I'm only asking because I was worried. You'd think nothing happened at all. I don't need your jabber, boy. Derek Buchanan. I'm not sure why, but he seems determined to ignore me. About your daughter. Does she look like you? If she does, well, that's gotta be one unhappy kid. Voted most likely to be carved from stone? No prom date for her. Just having you as a father is enough to scare the boys off, I bet. But that's a surprise. You're the last person I'd expect to be carrying a picture of your family. Listen up. I don't know who you are. But if you want to keep sucking down air, never talk to me again. As for your other inquiry, my daughter does not need the likes of you worrying about her. She looks like her mother. Thank you very much. Marshal Buchanan doesn't know who I am? There's something very odd going on here. But just what is it? What's wrong with you? Marshal. Hmm. I'll be slapped with a match penalty if I push my luck any further. I'd better look for another way before I'm sent off for good. <laughs> Think to try this. I must be getting tired. Oh, my sherry, I know. You must have been so scared. How is my Suki? Okay. There'll be champagne as soon as we arrive in DC. Ooh, I think some Chardonnay might be nice. Didn't your mannequin just break? Hey, excuse me. She's Suki, not a mannequin. Therefore, she most certainly cannot ever just break. Do you intend to make an enemy of the entire fashion industry? No. That mannequin got totally wrecked. Tut tut! Say another word, mister, and I shall unleash my anger! Okay, you win. Forget I even asked about you, mannequin. <sighs> my bad. No more about Suki. That's right. She's not a mannequin. We can forget this ever happened. Of course, us being top fashion designers, we're never going to remember you anyway. <laughs> Your choice is in fashion. So terrible. How can one walk outside wearing that? When did you become a military maniac? This is fashion. Retro and military, it's called. Both Suki and I are completely anti-war, of course. Okay. But what I really wanted to know was, when did you change your clothes? <sighs> Progress cannot be stopped. When we changed is not what is important. Rather, the question should be, when can we change? Indeed, just look. 
the fashion we have on right now is already headed toward obscurity. It's imminent, like fluttering petals. At any moment, new inspiration is going to just explode into my brain. Like, oh, of, and, ah, von. Asian corn! Silence, you caveman! Such foolishness from a mere peasant will filthy up my brain. I'm almost there. So close. Please do not interfere with me! Pain! And corn. Silence, you caveman! In. Hmm. Avant golf. Silence, you caveman! In. And corn. Always God. In. I mean, is Suki really okay? You're so persistent. Look at her smooth, perfect body. She doesn't have a mark on her. <laughs> so, oh, you're so good. Oh, my Suki. Suki, you are just too lovely. If I were to lose you, I doubt I could go on living. This does look like the real Suki. Is it just what's going on here? You've got red powder on your clothes. What is it? <gasps> uh, 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 a Oh, excuse me. Now then, uh, where exactly is this red powder on my clothing? I don't see anything at all. An elite fashion designer, and a mysterious powder? My instincts as a former narcotics detective tell me something's up. I'll question him and find out more. Have you heard of... real blood? Oh, of, of course I have. It's a cocktail containing tomato juice. Uh, not even close. Oh, you must mean that old cult movie, or that specialist retailer aimed at uh, teenagers? Is this just Bluster? Is he trying to hide something? I need to find another way in. 
brilliant lights cast deep shadows. What's that supposed to mean? Musicians, artists, designers, top clientele for drug pushes. I don't deny it. And you're one of them too? I don't need that stuff. I've got Suki. There's nothing that can possibly stimulate me more than her. Comparing her to the effects of mere chemicals, synthetic drugs, <laughs> you may as well just slap her in the face. D, what kind of question is that? I'm investigating something. Even if I knew about it, I wouldn't necessarily tell you, would I? He makes a good point. I can't approach this head on. Your average peasant may require... Yours is a world of trends, isn't it? Well, there are trends in drugs, too. You're sensitive to trends, right? You know what I'm talking about. Real blood. The ultimate drug. Considered the final and best of the blood series. As the name might suggest, it's a bright red powder. Just like the suspicious powder I saw on your clothing. You seem quite desperate to paint me as a junkie. But you're just overthinking things. The substance you question is nothing like that silly, real blood. It's far more wonderful, revolutionary, like a completely new age. For now, well, just call it D. D? He makes a good point. I can't... Tell me more about this new age. <clears throat> no comment. If it's all legit, surely you can tell me about it. It isn't time to reveal anything yet. You'll hear about it soon enough, along with the rest of the world. So you're planning on spreading a new age called D across the entire world simultaneously? <laughs> no comment. Hmm. This guy could be a lot more dangerous than he looks. I'll try taunting him a little. Tell. Hmm. I'll try. I've worked it out. The D of this new age is the D from Duncan. In other words, you want to make your own name the symbol of this new age. The whole world will be under the spell of the red powder that bears your name. But that isn't art. It's just attention-seeking. The desire for conquest. Just another wannabe dictator. Is that what Suki wants? Say whatever you like. It's not like you can stop me. This guy is tougher than I thought. He knows I don't have anything on him, okay? I'll slap him with some proof. Something he can't run away from. All this talk of a new age called D, though. I just hope my bad feeling about all this is way off the mark.